after it was announced by the stewards that Racing Point had infringed on the regulations in the design of their brake ducts for their 2020 car, they have garnered criticism from other teams, with McLaren CEO Zach Brown being particularly vocal. Racing Point team principal Otmar Safnauer has now responded. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Safnauer and Brown in a war of words. Despite Racing Point getting penalised by being asked to pay a €4,000 fine and a 15-point deduction, the protesting teams feel that this punishment isn't good enough. Zach Brown explained why. This is confusing for the fans. How can something that was not legal in Austria still be on the car? He further called out Safnauer's claims that any copying that Racing Point did was purely based on photographs. Around this whole copying, obviously they claimed that they had copied the car via photography. It's clear from reading the document that is BS, and therefore you have to question anything else around that car. Safnauer, however, wouldn't take too kindly to these words. So, Zach Brown. It is BS, because he's not an engineer. He's got no idea what he's talking about. Zero. And I'm surprised how little he knows about the rules of F1. It seems to me he knows more about historic racing than he does about F1. Fast feed. Red Bull's Max Verstappen thinks that in qualifying, the Mercedes really has a different mode, and that's a big step, and Red Bull doesn't have that. He also feels that it's often said that Marco is very hard on drivers, and thinks he is very realistic as he is straightforward and always asks very direct questions. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff revealed that Racing Point are pretty upset, and they believe that they have a pretty strong case, and they have lawyers ready to go and appeal. He also sees a group forming, a little revolution in a sense, and they are trying to go after them because they are upset because of the performance of Racing Point. Surprised? No, revealed Ferrari Charles Leclerc after qualifying P8, and added that it's a bit more of a realistic picture for them to be honest, and added they have been struggling more here than last week. He also thinks they shouldn't expect a podium here, as their weakness is to manage the tyres and expects to struggle. Renault's Daniel Ricciardo has revealed the rear of the car is definitely working better as he was able to get on the power earlier, you can feel the downforce is there. Ferrari Sebastian Vettel has stated that the aim is to achieve something if the right project comes around the corner. He also believes that he still has a lot to give, if that's not the case he is not interested in just continuing just to be there. Nicholas Tombatsis, head of single-seater technical matters at the FIA, thinks that if individual parts are copied, okay, but not fundamentally whole cars. He also revealed that they don't want 8 or 9 Mercedes cars next year. Former F1 driver Jos Verstappen wants to put son Max Verstappen next to Lewis, as then you get the best championship you have ever seen. Ferrari can confirm they have just stated their intention to appeal against this morning's steward's decision regarding Racing Point. And Mercedes Valtteri Bottas said that he had asked if he could get two years on his new contract, but Mercedes said no. They themselves had a plan to only do one year, and so he agreed to that. Who do you agree with, Safnauer or Brown? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.